chapter 10. Verse 12 says, So to yourself in righteousness and reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord. Is that right? Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Father ground. Break all your father ground. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may ask the question, what is a father ground? A father ground is the ground that has not yet been harvested. A ground that nothing has been sold on. A ground that has not yet been reaped. Some I say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. And some of the fallow ground have, have been purposely left by the farmers for it to replenish itself. If one works the same land, the same way over and over again, the soil becomes depleted and the land grows less and less productive. Therefore, farmers would every so often allow a feed to rest, to lie fallow, unsold, unreaped, so if we plant up on ground that have been allowed to lie fallow, that what we expect, what do we expect to happen? When you leave your ground, you, you, you may have used that land before to plant your crops. Uh, but then, for some reason, you left it for a year or so. <clears throat> then you go back to it. You go back because you know that you left it land and then you used it for almost a year. Now you replant it itself. The nutrition certain has come back. Is that right? Somebody say praise the Lord. And there are some land or some <coughs> aspect of your life that you may not have known that it was profitable to you. So you turn your back on it. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, it could be some friend of yours, some associate of yours that you did not think from the beginning that they were valuable to you. So you did not incorporate them into your system or your ways of doing things or your ways of life. Or on the other hand, there may have been people joining with you on this earth. It could be in your family, it could be on your job, it could be your peers, your associate that did not see your value. 
the denunciation of value to <laughs> their, for their operation. Come on, preach. Mm -hmm. They did not see your value. Yeah. Why, why you are capable of bringing onto the table to, to help them grow, on, to help them expand. Yeah, right. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh yeah, and they just let you stand there. Right. That you were not valuable to them. Somebody shouts, say, Lord, I thank, Lord you. I thank you. But God told me to tell you now, uh, they are seeing, they have seen the difference in you. you. They have seen you that you are the different maker. Is that right? Somebody shout, say, hallelujah. hallelujah. You are the different maker that will bring, oh, yes, uh, change into their life, change into their business, change. Somebody shall say, I'm a chain maker. Are uh, you a chain maker? Somebody shall say, Lord, I thank you. So what is a foul ground that has been left all by itself, no attention given to it, is that right? Because they may not give you the attention from the beginning, but that did not stop you from growing. <laughs> Come on, sister neighbor. Your peer may not have given you the attention from the beginning, but that did not stop you from growing. Is, is that right? <laughs> is that right? That did not stop you from being increased mentally. That did not stop you from being increased in wisdom and in knowledge. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say neighbor, neighbor. No, matter no matter how someone looks at me, they cannot stop my progress. Stop my progress. Oh, it's a lot of talking to somebody. Say neighbor, no matter how someone looks at you, oh glory to God, they can't stop your progress. Oh, I don't believe we're here. Oh, they, they can last. stop your progress. There, there are people that look on the outward appearance. Maybe there was just something about you when you were coming up. Your makeups were not right. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. Your hair do was not right. It, it, is that right? I asked, asked Oprah one time, someone almost kicking keep her out of the new car because of her hair. Is that is that that's is true? I mean she said it because they did not let her hair do. Because hair or hairstyle was not right in that environment. But that did not stop us. Say neighbor, no matter how someone looks at you or how someone describe your look. Is that right? Or where you from? Or what zip code you live in? The jet cannot stop your progress. What God has blessed, no man can curse. Somebody shall say, I'm blessed. And how the favor. Go oh, put your hands together and bless the Lord with me. Yes. Ah, ah, yes, yes. They did not see your important. They did not know your important. Somebody shall say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have come to a, a generation now that is discovering that in experience is better than college degree. Come on now. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come on now. Say neighbor, experience can all beat the college degree. Uh, is that right? Yeah, my girl, appreciate with me. Say, Lord, I thank, Lord I thank you. We have come to the generation now. We don't know how long it took for us to get there. Is that right? That that corporal leaders are not giving you the job anymore because you get paid for work. They want to see your productivity. They want to see your experience put into place. Somebody shall say glory to God. Is that right? Because there are 
high school draft order of little years today. There are some come on a college draft order of little years today. Somebody shall say, Lord, thank you for blessing me. And is that right? Because of the young men dropping out of school, that because of Bill Gates dropping out of college, that did not start a progress. <laughs> come on now. Is it, are you flowing with me? Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. When God has purposed you for a cause, when God has purposed you for a destiny, no matter what you go through, it, 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 the, 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 the world here is not your beginning. Your beginning does not matter. What matters is how you end the race. The race is not given to what? To the swift, neither to the strong, but he that does what? That endure to the end. Somebody shouts it, I'm blessed and highly favored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I hope you are flowing with me. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. I hope you are flowing with me yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So if they leave you stand there stranded by yourself, yes, yeah, yeah, that will not stop your progress. You you will become fruitful, more fruitful than other ground. Is that right? Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. So we call this the law of the Father ground. The law of the Father ground. The Lord, yes, that contains one of the most important secrets of living a fruitful life. What is Father ground? It is the ground that has been, that has has not been touched, oh my goodness. A ground that has not been touched, that has not been worked or captivated. Is that right? A land, my goodness. My, what is a fallow ground? In God. It is the ground that has been touched by God. It's every life, every heart, every soul that has seen allow God to touch it, that has seen allow God's life to enter in. It is therefore crucial that you sow the words and love of God to the foul, to the lost, the unsaved, the unknowing, to the to the what the most ungodly to the father ground and if they receive they will bear much fruit somebody shall say hallelujah, hallelujah. In, in, in other words let us look at this generation we know the sin of the, the transgression of the Gentile have come to the fore. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. the transgression of, of the Gentile have come to the fore. We are at the end of time. Somebody shall say, Glory to God. Oh, yeah. But we have come to a place now where some are turning their bike on. So this, the, 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 the deem to be a sinner. Now, if you turn your bike on that child, if you turn your bike on that young lady that is on crack, if you turn your bike on that young man that is an alcoholic, if you turn your bike on that young person or on that individual that is dealing with spiritual battle, Somebody shall say glory to God. Then you are turning your bike on the so on soul that need to be that need to come to God. So you should look at, at someone. I told somebody the other day, our church is not a church that is set up to be for raising church. 
The church is being set out to raise men and women. Somebody shout, say glory to God. So somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Because of some section of sectors of the come on, of the society turned it by uncertain group. That is not our place to turn our bike on the sin of man. We should be soul winner. Yes, yes. So somebody shall say I'm a soul winner. Soul winner. Is, is that right? Somebody shall say I'm a soul winner. Soul. Because he that win a soul is what? Is a wise person. We were set aside to descend so that need to be saved for the kingdom of God. Say neighbor, I have been set aside to descend to see this hungry soul. Because we are in a season now that people are hungry for the truth. They are hungry for the true word of God. Somebody shall say glory to God. But by the spirit of deception, Oh, uh, who the Lord is talking to? The spirit of deception is messing with their mind, messing with their spirit, because of they don't know their left from their right. So this is where you and I have come and say, neighbor, I gotta break my follow ground. Uh, what is the follow ground? The follow ground is a ground that had not yet been touched. That had not yet been captivated, that had not yet been harvested. A father ground is a soul that had not yet been witnessed, to. and that soul could be right in your own house. That soul could be right in your own family. Somebody shall say glory to God. That soul could be right in your own culture. Somebody shall say I'm a soul winner. Because one of the things, you see, the devil is so crafty. I wonder what the Lord said, be wise as a serpent or harmless as a dove. Is, is that right? God, who has put you in that family as a lamb, as Jesus, who came as a lamb of God. Somebody shall say hallelujah. He came as a lamb of God to save his people. So we see he the, the, we see him walking or marching with what sitting on the back of the donkey marching into the street of Jerusalem, marching, marching into his own house to save his people. But his people did not see his value. His people did not see his mission. His people did not see it or did not get to know what was his purpose. So his own people kills him. So Put yourself in that position uh, that God has sent you to your own people as a lamb for their deliverance, for their healing, for their salvation. Somebody shout, I'm a soul winner. Are you following with me? God has sent you, anointed you for his purpose. All things works together for the good of those that love the Lord, that, that have been called according to his purpose, not your purpose. So now you are walking in the midst of your own people. Say they don't know your value. They don't know your purpose. Because you look like them. You, you walk like them. Is, is that right? You, 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 you wear the same hairdo like them. You sit on the same benches with them. But one thing about it, they don't know that you are in a different dimension. So they are looking at you as they see themselves. They see you. But they don't know the dimension for which you are operating. 
plenty from. For them to receive you, is that right? So I shall say praise the Lord. So some of them envious you because why am I going to see your strength? They envy you. They see your light. They envy you. The things are going smoothly for you. They envy you because the angels of God are leading and guiding you. Somebody shall say hallelujah. I did say I was young but now I'm old. I have not seen what the righteous forsaken not to see that bread. Somebody shall say hallelujah. You are moving as a righteous lamb of God in the midst of your people. Somebody shall say I'm a soul winner. You are moving in their midst as the land, righteous land of God in their midst. And at the same time, the same people that God sent you to, to be helped to, to be helped to them, they are the one that threw a mess at you. They are the one that want to bring you down. There's a lot of talking to somebody here. They, come on now. They are the one that want to cut you up. I wonder why Jesus said, wash out what is done in the green tree will eventually be done in the dry tree. Somebody shall say glory to God. I wonder why Paul said we are like sheep before the flock. We are they were kills all day long. Why they are killing us, trying to kill us, we are praying for them. Why they are trying to destroy us, we are talking to God on their behalf. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Why they are trying to stop our progress, we are telling God, talking to God, help them. Somebody say, neighbor, I am a soul winner. Because you have a mission. You have a mission. Uh, yes, yes. Your mission is to glorify God. Your mission is to worship God. Uh, somebody shall say hallelujah. Your mission, because of your mission, God gave you a spiritual dimension uh, that you can stay in that dimension uh, and see what your neighbor cannot see. I'm not talking to somebody. You see something that your mama do not see because you are in a different spiritual dimension. Uh, you see and hear things that even your daddy cannot see. You see and hear things uh, Glory to God that your neighbor do not hear or see. Somebody shout, say, I'm a soul winner. Oh, come on, put your hands together. If you're a soul winner. So God say, yes, yes, yes. Then they reject you. And then, I'm taking you somewhere, they be patient with me. Then they reject you. And turn their bike on you. And they, because they don't know your value. Is that right? Oh, come on. I, I'm, not talking, I'm not preaching to the right people here. Because they don't know your value. That God has set you in their midst as a land. A land that will deliver them. A land that will bring up their healing. A land that will bring up their blessing. Somebody shouts out my soul in us. Yeah. They don't see it. So Jesus said, remember they did it to me. <laughs> if they did it to Jesus, shut up. do not be surprised when somebody don't like you. Is that right? If they did it to Jesus, shut up. do not be surprised if your own loved one will hit you. Don't, come on now. If they did it to Jesus, shut up. do not be surprised that your own loved one are the one that's going to hang you on the cross. They are the one that's going to persecute you. But always remind yourself of oh, the joy. Somebody say I'm a soul winner. Oh, put your hands together. Somebody shout say I'm a soul winner. I, I can't hear you. Oh, yes, yes.
because you have to concentrate on the purpose. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, on the purpose for which God set you on that course. The purpose for which. Oh yeah. I was listening to Jimmy Fat. I said it to quite a few people. I was listening to Jimmy Fox after he made that movie with Richard. Is that right? His, his, his mind was that yeah, they were nominated to win an Oscar, right? But he did not think they were to win an Oscar. So he, he started to have power to destroy his life. Yeah. And thank God, people that Oprah, I want to say experience is better than uh, college papers. Yeah. Experience is better than college degree. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So he said he received a call from Oprah, and Oprah took him to Quincy Jones house, and, and the party were also there and they told him man you guys are our future we are getting old uh, say neighbor come on just turn to a young person say, say son or daughter you are my future you are our future we are getting old that that touch that that touch a bit of power to you is, is that right do not get all the character. Say neighbor. Stay in character. Uh, are you flowing with me? Stay in character. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Said, Hear the experienced man and, 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 and Oprah invited Jimmy Fox. And they were telling him, man, we want to give you responsibility. Say, say, say son, yeah. my daughter, oh. I want to give you responsibility. Yeah. Want to give you responsibility. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah because the, the, you are responsible for the next generation. You are responsible. Come on now. You are responsible now for the next government. You are respons responsible. How things are the wrong in this society. I want to give you some responsibility. Somebody shall say I'm a soul winner. Uh, are you flowing with me? Uh, uh, so I, I tell, I tell people, mm, mm, they saw that Jimmy Fox was an untouched follow ground. But he saw something, although he did not know he left from the right. But as experienced as they are, they were or they are, they saw that, yeah, the growth in the community, the growth of the young folks that are coming after, the growth of the next generations. That responsibility lies on that shoulder. Say, neighbor, somebody blessing is on your shoulder. Somebody education is on your shoulder. Somebody development is on your shoulder. Somebody upliftment is on your shoulder. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it may not be your own biological family, but there are outside of there looking to you. There's a neighbor that looking to you. There's a white man that looking to you. There's a schoolmate that looking to you. Somebody's a neighbor. Somebody's blessing that's on your shoulder. Are you flowing with me? It's a neighbor. Somebody's blessing is on your shoulder. I can't sit shout out to neighbor. It's on your shoulder. So don't sit down there 
Because you think you have it all. Uh, and keep up. You know, I'm from born and raised in Africa. There are a lot of things that God is blessing us to acquire. That we have to dig the soil for ourselves. Ah, because sometimes your, your own family members can be so secrecy. Mm -hmm. uh, there, will, there will be things that thing that don't, they don't give you. But there are things they don't reveal to you that you have to learn it from your own. <laughs> Is that right? But now we are not in that generation anymore. Is that right? People are waiting years to open themselves to you. If you ask, the Bible says, seek you shall find. Knock yes, and the door shall be opened. Ask and shall be given to you. Somebody shall say hallelujah. So now God is saying here to break your fallow ground. Yeah, yeah. A ground that you may have turned your back on because they were not value, valuable to you. A child, a brother or a sister that you may have turned your back on because you thought they were not valuable to you. Or you thought they did something to harm you. Is that right? You did not know what that individual was going through. Is that right? You did not know what was their conditions, what was their situation. Is that right? Maybe the communication links were not established between you and them. Is that right? But God has blessed you to position you to break that fire ground. Say, neighbor, break that fire ground. Is that right? Bishop, what do you mean by break my fire ground? Oh, yeah. If someone did something to you that caused you not to witness to them. Remember, the Bible says all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and that are called according to his purpose. Is that right? So now you have to put your pride aside. You is that right? I'm not talking to somebody. You have to come down from your high horse and extend God loving hand to that sister. Extend God loving hand to that brother. Somebody say, Lord, help me. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Extend God helping hand to that sister because you, you, what you don't understand you will end up discovering that that sister has been admiring you a long time that brother may have been admiring you a long time that individual value your words that individual value your lifestyle that wants to be like you can you Give them the opportunity to say yes or no to you. Say, neighbor, give somebody an opportunity. Oh, who the Lord is talking to here? Yeah. Can I repeat that words again? Say, neighbor, give somebody an opportunity to either say yes to you or no to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because your journey is not of your own purpose. It is the purpose of God. He, he put you in the mix. He put you in the mix as a sacrificial lamb. Somebody shall say, I am a sacrificial lamb. Oh, the Lord is talking to you. Yeah. The same people that you want to God send you to hell. It is the same people that the end of sending you in the marketplace. Yeah. Somebody shall say, Lord, I thank you. The same people that God sent you to be a hector. And it's the same people that are going to God send it for you. 
here. It is the same people that go to my goodness conspired against you. But if you are going in their midst, our God is sending you. They don't have to be afraid. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but love, power, and what? And of sound mind. And God said, you go in the midst. Oh, glory to God. I will cause my angels to encamp you. That no weapon fall against you shall prosper. So live as a sacrificial lamb.
to be that sacrificial lamb upon him. You see things that they can't see. You heard, you hear things that they can't hear. You experience things that they can't experience. You receive heavenly visitation that they are not qualified. Is that right? Yes. To experience our privilege, our privileges. Yes. So now you have to remind yourself yes. that I am protected, no matter what is thrown at me. Amen. Amen. I don't get it. I'm protected no matter what they throw at me. Mm. God will never send you out without protection. Can I repeat that once again? I can walk now, now I can walk on any unholy ground. It didn't come overnight. Can I repeat that once again? It don't come overnight. But will you build a capacity for it? Will you build a capacity for it to carry such a tremendous responsibility with the power and the authority that goes with it? You have to build the, the, the capacity for it. Is that right? Oh yeah, why am I experiencing this and this and that? That man, other very good one cannot see. But God is helping you to build the capacity. Somebody say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. It, it's a lot of talking to you. So as you grow into your calling, as you grow into your place of responsibilities, don't complain about the wind that blown against you. Lord just give me the strong, the strength. So the stronger you go against the wind, the higher you rise. The airplane cannot fly until it, until it goes against the wind. David was not recognized that he went against Goliath. So don't take everything that comes to you as an instrument to destroy you. They are there to enhance you by your power, your strength. Because when you can when you can handle one level and you are able to conquer all of the elements on that level, then God will move you to the next level. You don't want to always remain in the general assembly. He want to be taken from the general assembly to another level that everybody in that general assembly cannot make it to. You see that, brother? He got a law degree now. He's not in that general assembly anymore. <laughs> he gonna say, where I coming from? Something that when I took band, uh, a fellow lawyer for his uh, bar association, there were two, three women that were around him in that hotel. They wanted him to join them to share some ideas. And some of them were there for um, repeating, repeated six years. Six years doing one bar association. And then they pass it. But here, God bless you, you're you just taking him up to, to overcome that in one step. Now you are noble of that general assembly. Hello, but don't 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 let don't let down your God. <laughs> Just a, it's, it's the beginning of the journey. Right. It's the beginning of the journey. Is that right? Oh my goodness! It's what the beginning, but there are other levels. There are other levels that you deal with. Oh, yeah, you will be. Glad to get that jobs, but the politics on the job. <laughs> it's a lot talking to somebody. You gotta deal with the politics. Uh, how, 
Ah, I got a job, and I've been making some money. Is this and that. Or the politics that you have to deal with before they even accept you in your own office. Dumpster. <laughs> Is that right? The politics. Whether you want one of their own, come on now. Come on now, that's the truth. Yeah, the, 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 can I say something? Can I say something? There's some, some kind of spirit. You can tell that, you know, 